But you know who else needs help? Um, clearly, the alcohol, tobacco, and firearms folks, um, and explosives, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, we call them the ATF, um, seems to be in a little bit of hot water. According to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, um, there's a new report that based on crime records, police reports, and dozens of interviews and papers detailing about how the ATF used rogue tactics to catch criminals, including providing underage youth with alcohol and allowing them to smoke pot, to run storefront gun and drug stings all across the country. It gets even better. In the estimation of this report, the ATF used mentally, mentally disabled people to run their sting. So they use young people, mentally disabled folks. They use them all to basically run these stings um, to get people arrested. Um, key agents posted pictures of him on their fake Facebook page. When the sting came to an end, now this is one particular, this is Aaron Keyes, who's who's um, who, you know, he was one of these stings that they were running. Um, Key was sentenced for 18 months in prison for selling a sawed-off shotgun and arranging, and arranging for prostitutes to come into a party being thrown by the undercover agents. The judge, however, ordered that if Key wanted to have his tattoo removed, the AFT should pay for it once he's released from prison. So they basically snooked him into this gang, right? He's mentally unstable, and they just abused his mental instability in running their sting. It's really a sad story. Um, another example of power gone bad. Um, so, uh, you know, you just hope you would see better from our, our, our folks. <laughs>